Having a look here at the second single that I'm going to release from my 24 song project. In just a few short months that I've been recording stuff here in the project studio, it's amazing. Like what I used to think would pass for a good quality acoustic guitar track. And now it's like the caliber of my expectation is really gone up. And that's a good thing. Learning tricks along the way about how to maximize the quality of each track and also just becoming a better player. On guitar, on bass, on drums, the bar is definitely rising and I'm fucking stoked about it. Also sent a mix last night to my man Enzo. Uncle Fubar's always got the fucking words of wisdom, you know? He picks out stuff that I never would have thought of and he said, did you try this? I'm like, fuck, of course. Absolutely right, man. So big shout out to my man Enzo. That's why you're my partner in crime, bro. I'm about ready to release this motherfucker. My bone run is all but done. <laughs> the 24 Song Project started earnestly with song number one, the 1 a.m. song, Pretty Shannon, Celtic Rocker. The first single that I released publicly from this entire project was the 2 a.m. song called Before We Go. Why did I skip over song number one? I knew from the beginning that when I started releasing the singles, I wasn't going to do it chronologically. I wasn't going to do song number one, song number two. I wanted to pick and choose. So the main reason I skipped over releasing song number one first was for that reason. I wanted to avoid that predictability. Now that I'm a couple of releases into the process, I came back to Pretty Shannon just to listen. And I'm thinking, okay, so I'm checking out the tracks. I'm thinking, what do I need to do to make this song release ready? Instrumentation wise, I kind of know what I have to do, but the real work in my mind that has to be done on this is the vocal track. I originally sang the lead vocal in a very chaotic style, just sort of rah. Me and the lads were head to toe in liquor and angst and awful show, but little did I ever know that all amongst the moon and the stars. Now, because it's a Celtic rocker, I want to redo that lead vocal to make it more conducive to backup vocals, being at the ready. You have to sing smoother and sort of more in line in order to make backup vocals possible. If you're singing all crazy and all over the place, the backup vocals have nowhere to latch onto. So I'm going to sing that vocal a little more clean. Me and the lads were head to show. Pretty Shannon. And leave room for the sing along Celtic backup singers to come in and give that song the missing power that it needs. Me and the lads were head to toe in liquor and angst and all for show. But little did I ever know that all amongst the moon and the stars that I would land the finest one. Oh, my pretty Shannon. 